Having received a letter from Mullah Hussein about his meeting with Baha'u'llah in Tehran, the Bab and Ghuddus left for pilgrimage. The first part of their journey was by boat and it took two months. During this time, many of their fellow travellers came to admire the Bab. There was one traveller, though, who was jealous of the respect shown to the Bab. He was an arrogant man who was constantly picking fights with other passengers and he made the Bab a particular target. Everybody was unhappy about this behaviour, especially the captain of the ship, who ordered the man to be thrown overboard. The sailors grabbed the man, preparing to throw him into the sea. The Bob intervened and asked the captain to free the troublemaker. The captain refused. The sailors moved then to toss the man overboard and the Bob threw himself at the prisoner and held on to him, all the while asking the captain to reconsider. The captain couldn't believe it. After all, this young man was the one who had suffered the most. The Bob pleaded for the man because, as he explained, people who behave badly only harm themselves, so one should be tolerant and forgiving. This time the captain agreed and freed the man. When they finished their voyage, the Bob and his friends travelled by land to Mecca. There, as they walked with thousands of other pilgrims around the shrine, known as the Kappa, the Bob took hold of the ring on the door of this famous shrine and announced three times in a clear voice, I am that Qaim whose advent you have been awaiting. The pilgrims near him fell silent for a few seconds and then recommenced praying. Though nothing else happened, at that point, the news of his claim soon spread. The Bab also wrote a letter to the Sheriff of Mecca, declaring his mission. Impressed as the Sheriff was by the letter, he wasn't sure who had written it. After the Bab's death, the Sheriff discovered the identity of the author and was very upset to learn of his ill treatment. The Bob arrived back from pilgrimage in the spring of 1845. He parted from Rodus with the words that foreshadowed the future for both of them. The days of your companionship with me are drawn to a close. The hour of separation has struck, a separation which no reunion will follow except in the kingdom of God, in the presence of the King of Glory.